it's January 8th, and unfortunately, uh, the Ukrainian airline uh, with 180 souls on board did go down near Tehran, Iran. Uh, people are already viewing over a thousand views in less than an hour, so thank you for that. This is uh, people are asking what could have brought it down. Uh, maybe it was one of the 20 different uh, air defense systems that the Islamic Republic of Iran utilizes. Um, there's some speculations. I think it could have been some kind of GPS spoofing. Uh, although the, the aircraft was on fire, which means it was probably hit by some kind of ordnance or projectile, very similar to the uh, Malaysian airliner that was taken down in the Ukraine, uh, probably by Russian radar system operators and missile system. Uh, so let's, let's just talk about some things that could have been or could not have been. First and foremost, don't think it was a 20 millimeter shell. So let's just start there. It wasn't an anti-material round. It wasn't something like that. Let's talk about some other things here. Uh, could it have been a clandestine use of drone? Don't think so. Uh, could have been some jamming, something along the lines of that. Uh, what I'm thinking was it was an inexperienced radar system, air systems uh, operator that ended up shooting that aircraft down. Uh, there'll be more information to tell, and you'll be able to quickly tell from the wreckage if it was hit by some kind of uh, air defense system. It'll be shredded, uh, like the image in my last video. So everyone, thanks for watching. I'll have more updates. There's really not much information out there right now, so keep an eye on it. Uh, Iran has said they've already investigated it, uh, caused it as technical issues, uh, which makes me immediately suspect that it was shot down. So, uh, unfortunately, for those 180 souls on board, I highly doubt uh, there's going to be many survivors based on the videos that I've seen. Check it out on Twitter. Thanks so much for watching. Kona2Max YouTube.